Hello, Mark Sabatella from Outside Shore, home of Mastering MuseScore. In this week's tip, I'm going to show you how to create a double whole note or brev. If you're working in Renaissance music especially, you often use this particular note value. It's twice as long as a whole note or semi-brev. And by default, you might not see that on your toolbar. And so you might think, oh, MuseScore can't create these brevs, but that is not true. So if I have a, a score that is in a time signature where that makes sense, like 4-2, I can go into note input mode. And well, first of all, if I know the keyboard shortcuts, I can enter the brev directly. If we know that 4, 5, and 6 are eighth, quarter, and half, well then 7 is whole note and 8 is brev. So if I type 8 and then C, I get my brev. So if you know the keyboard shortcuts, 8 does the job. If you're not so comfortable working with keyboard shortcuts, that is fine too. All we have to do to get the brev on the toolbar is to ask MuseScore to show it to us. So I'm going to click the gear icon at the far end of the note input toolbar there, and you'll see all these other note values, 124th note, 500, uh, 512th note, 264th note, 128th note, all these notes that aren't necessarily on the toolbar by default, and they have this eye closed icon. Now, next to them, meaning they don't show. Well, the same is true of the double whole note, or brev. It has the closed eye icon. All I have to do is click that icon, and now the brev, or double whole note, is there on the palette, so I can uh, enter it the same way. I can go to note input mode, click that icon, and click on my staff, and I get my brev. So. That is how you can get a brev in MuseScore. And while you're at it, you can also get 128th notes and all sorts of shorter note values, as well as add other buttons to your toolbar that you may have noticed while we were looking at this uh, uh, menu of things that can be added. So I hope you enjoy uh, that process of customizing your toolbar and write some music with brevs.